a former world number one with four Grand Slams under her belt, Naomi Osaka is a name well known in tennis circles. It was all glory for her until she was subject to terrible racism, which resulted in a mental breakdown ultimately leading to her downfall. But how did the Japanese star rule over the WTA world at one time, and why did she decide to stay away from tennis? In this video, we're taking you through a roller coaster journey the rise and fall of Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka, born on October 16, 1997, is no stranger to the world of tennis. She made history by winning the 2018 US Open, becoming the first Japanese player to secure a Grand Slam singles title in the Open era of WTA. In 2019, she achieved another milestone as the first Asian player to reach the top spot in the Women's Tennis Association World Rankings. Beyond her athletic achievements, Osaka is renowned for her advocacy in the realm of social justice. Talking about her background, Osaka had to work her way up by putting in years of hard work. Osaka's background comprises a Haitian father and a Japanese mother. She spent her early years in Japan until the age of three when her family relocated to Long Island, New York. The example of Richard Williams and the rise of the Williams sisters had always fascinated Naomi's father. It was there that her father encouraged her to pursue tennis. In 2006, the family moved to Florida, where Osaka practiced tennis during the day and received homeschooling at night. She skipped junior competitions and turned professional in 2013, garnering support from the Japanese Tennis Federation. Over the subsequent years, she emerged as one of the most promising young talents in the sport. Soon, she began leaving an impact on every slam she played, and the world of tennis came across a new sensation. When she was only 16 at a rank of 406, she rose to prominence by securing a victory against the former US Open champion Samantha Stoser, who was ranked number 19 at the time, in her debut on the WTA Tour during the 2014 Stanford Classic. A couple of years later, Osaka made her way to the first WTA final at the 2016 Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo, propelling her into the top 50 of the WTA rankings. In 2018, Osaka experienced a breakthrough in women's tennis as she clinched her inaugural WTA title at the Indian Wells Open by defeating the great Serena Williams in the final. But this was just the beginning of her extraordinary career, and later that year, Osaka registered her first Grand Slam at the US Open. Osaka began her campaign at the US Open with a dominant performance, defeating Laura Ziegemund, Yulia Glushko, Alexandra Zasnovich, and Arena Zabalenka in the early rounds. She showcased her powerful ground strokes and ability to dictate play from the baseline. In the fourth round, Osaka faced off against the rising star Arena Sabalenka. Despite facing a tough opponent, Osaka displayed remarkable composure and an aggressive style of play, eventually defeating Arena in three sets to advance to the quarterfinals. Now the competition was becoming intense. Naomi outclassed the unseated Ukrainian Lesia Tsurenko in the quarterfinals, followed by Madison Keys in the semifinals, which now meant that Naomi had to face her childhood idol, Serena Williams, in the final. In the first set, Osaka overwhelmed Williams with her aggressive shot making, taking it 6 2. However, the match took an unfortunate turn when a series of penalties were imposed on Williams by the chair umpire, resulting in a heated exchange between Williams and the officials. Despite the controversy and the challenging circumstances, Osaka maintained her composure and continued to play exceptional tennis. In the end, she closed out the match, winning the second set 6-4 and securing her first Grand Slam title at the age of 20. This was an incredible feat for a 20-year-old, but Naomi was back again showcasing her aggressive and powerful gameplay, this time at the 2019 Australian Open. Throughout the tournament, Osaka displayed exceptional skill and determination. She faced several formidable opponents on her path to the final, including the likes of Tamara Zidancek, Su Wei She, Anastasia Sevastova, Elena Svitolina, and Karolina Pliskova. In the final, Osaka faced Petra Kvitova, a two-time Wimbledon champion and a highly experienced player. The match was highly anticipated as both players showcased exceptional tennis skills and a strong desire to win. The final match was a thrilling and closely contested affair. Osaka won the first set 7-6 in a tiebreaker after saving multiple set points. However, Kvitova fought back in the second set, winning it 7-5. The match then went on to a deciding third set, where Osaka managed to maintain her composure and showcase her powerful ground strokes. Ultimately, Naomi Osaka emerged as the victor, defeating Petra Kvitova 7-6, 5-7, 6-4. 
With this win, she became the first Japanese player, male or female, to claim the singles title at the Australian Open. She was on a roll now, and already her fan base was growing rapidly. In 2020, Naomi was back to her winning ways at the US Open. Naomi Osaka, the fourth seed, aimed to win her second US Open title in 2020. Throughout the tournament, she showcased exceptional skills and composure, not dropping a single set en route to the final. Facing Victoria Azarenka, who won the first set 6-1, Osaka mounted a remarkable comeback, winning the second set 6-3. In the decisive third set, she continued her momentum, defeating Azarenka 1-6, 6-3, 6-3. Everyone thought a new power was on the rise, but something strange happened. It was the 2021 French Open. Just after winning another Grand Slam at the 2021 Australian Open, fans had Naomi as their favorite in the French Open until she had to withdraw, citing some mental health issues. The situation arose after Osaka had announced before the tournament that she would not be participating in press conferences, stating that they often harmed her mental well-being. She expressed that she wanted to prioritize her mental health and avoid potential harm to her self-esteem. Following her decision, Osaka faced fines and disciplinary action from tournament organizers for not attending the mandatory press conferences. She was fined $15,000 after not conducting a press conference following her first round win over Patricia Tigg. In a statement, she revealed that she had experienced long bouts of depression since the 2018 US Open and explained that speaking to the media triggered anxiety and affected her mental state. To make things worse, Naomi opened up on how she was subject to racial abuse when she decided to represent Japan instead of the US at the Tokyo Olympics. After the withdrawal, it seemed like everything was falling apart for the four-time Grand Slam winner. In one of her statements, Naomi explained, I've been playing under the Japan flag since I was 14. It was never even a secret that I'm going to play for Japan in the Olympics. So I don't choose America and suddenly people are like, your black card is revoked. And it's like African American isn't the only black, you know? Fast forward to 2022, Naomi Osaka returned to competition but faced setbacks, including an early exit at the Australian Open. She made it to the final of the Miami Open but lost to Iga Swiatek and further challenges and injuries followed in subsequent tournaments. When everything seemed to be going downhill, Naomi came up with news that sent waves of joy throughout her fan base. Naomi Osaka and her boyfriend Corday Amari Dunstan are expecting a baby girl. For those of you unaware, Corday Amari, popularly known as Corday, is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. It's true that Naomi hasn't played much tennis since September 2022 and even failed to appear at the 2023 Australian Open, but the news of her pregnancy has changed the way that the Japanese tennis star views her life, and for her, this has made her mental health an even bigger concern. She celebrated the big news of her pregnancy with a picture of a sonogram, a copy of a statement written in both English and Japanese on Twitter, and the caption, can't wait to get back on the court, but here's a little life update for 2023. In her prime, Naomi Osaka was one of the most feared players on the WTA tour, but now she's very far from competing. It's been quite some time since fans last saw the 25-year-old on the court, as her last professional match was played in September 2022. In an interview, Naomi revealed, though, that she'll be back at the Australian Open 2024, and when asked about how many more slams she desired to win in the future, she simply replied, eight. Naomi has also revealed her desire to win the gold medal at the Paris Olympics in 2024. It's been a roller coaster journey for the former WTA number one, but who knows, she might be back to her winning ways and might return to the best form of her life.